Hi, my name is David Dozi, I was a instructor on Maya. In this video I want to show you how you can cut an object based on a plane inside of an pro zero. So what you need to do is get the object Z, it is my bottom, go to the to create a cube. And I want to give uh, got some little bit of thickness to this element, so when I press Z, the left mouse button and go a little bit of extrusion, a little bit of thickness. I want to come back in the in the object mode so I can press Z and select my face, sorry, face Z and release so I can use my my uh, inter in my contextual out key for come back from object uh, compare mode to object mode. Alright. Now I need to create a plane. So Z left mouse button and create plane. This is my cut plane. So what I need to do is first select the object and then select the cut plane. So this is very important. Select the first object, shift select the secondary object, the cut plane. So press Z, left mouse button, and now I want to cut by plane. Uh, it's very important to read that this kind of message. So now you need to select you want a single cut plane and double cut plane. Actually, I want to use a double cut plane. All right. What happening is here is in these elements is this. So your your object is cutting in two half. This is very interesting. But there, there is another interesting feature. If I because I have select double cut and plane, if I select click on my first cut plane, W and move it, now you can see I have two plane to cut. This gives you the ability to see inside of the object to create a section, for example. Of course, you can change the, 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 the rotation of these elements and having uh, another kind of sections. So you can have two different sections. Alright. Of course, you can uh, use uh, other techniques for do that. For example, I want to show you Ctrl N, do not save, and then I want to use a single cut plane, but well, look at this. Create another cube. Now at the, at the left mouse button, some smooth thing on it. Now I want to create some curve. A little bit of curve, sorry, not a curve, but a curve. So Z, go to north. Uh, sorry, Z, left mouse button, um, Z, mid mouse button, go to control vertex cube, curve. And now I want to create a curve. Control vertex and uh, change some point of this curve in this way. Great. After that, I want to duplicate it, this curve, in this way, Ctrl D, and uh, moving in this direction. So, select first curve, secondary curve, and now Z, left mouse button, and I want to create a, uh, an intersection um, a surface from curves. So, surface from curves, I want to create uh, some loft. Alright, great. This is a NURBS loft, so I need to convert it. So Z, left mouse button, and now convert NURBS to polygons. Great. If I'm moving my curve, as you can see, I have the control of, uh, of this plane. So now I can select my plane, sorry, select my sphere, select my plane, Z, left mouse button. And now I want to create another cut by plane. This time I want to use a single cut plane. Single cut plane, let me crack it. As you can see now, my object is cracking two into half. And now I can use my control vertex of the curve, for example, for moving along and continue to cut off this object. I can move this in this way. And as you can see, this is a very interesting way to create some uh, crack it on uh, surfaces. I can take this vertex inside, of course, of the plane, and you can make okay, a massive selection for this way. And so, as you can see, I can uh, I can continuously uh, improve my 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 cat of my 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 cat of mesh in, in this way. And I think this is very interesting way to do this. And I think you can do, for example, is uh, create another void, another cube, left mouse button. Z left mouse button create uh, as merging and now I want to create another plane. This time I want to sub subdivision add a lot of more subdivision on it and uh, if I select all the vertexes Z left mouse button convert to vertices and Z uh, left mouse button go to um, 
sorry, um, you need to using the transforms. All right, uh, what's happening? You can uh, add uh, on this transform tool a lot of random so for create some noise. Oh, I think this is very interesting. This way to do to use this tool. So now if I put uh, this noise inside of my sphere and uh, select the sphere, select the plane, Z, left mouse button, do else. Sorry, I um, need to go to cut by plane, a single plane again. I can now uh, cut by using this noise, and I think so is really interesting for shattering objects inside of Maya. So, you can do a, a lot of other time, for example, I can duplicate it and cut it this one and I'll continue it in this way. So, this is very interesting because uh, there is a lot of live elements here, of course, I can change the direction of these, uh, these objects, so I can think of this is very important to have a gift to Maya. So, back. Hope you find this uh, video useful and bye.